Now, you know, government can help, but it's not the primary way to help. And everybody wants to talk about it. Mostly people do that so that they can sound smart. People are afraid of sounding dumb. You know, they're afraid of sounding like they're not in the know. Uh, I can assure you when I was a nerdy little kid, I was reading up on the House and the Senate. And I did student government in high school and I did it again in college. This is kind of what I used to love. And now I think it's eh, kind of mostly kind of silly. Just because, again, like you saw yesterday when we went on VPAP, um, most of these politicians, you know, they're bought and paid for uh, by companies and people like Neil Amin. We saw that. So I'm very skeptical whenever they tell you that they're here to help. Doesn't mean some of them don't. In fact, if I, if I see anybody in here that I've met and that I think is doing a good job, you know, I'm probably going to skip them because I don't want to appear biased. My whole point of this exercise is that I really don't know any of these folks at all. And uh, we're just trying to see, you know, are they relatable to a working person? So let's take a peek. All right. And we know that... Uh, we sort by district because we don't want to appear like, you know, I'm not sorting by party. I don't know who anybody is. Uh, so we're just doing this by the numbers. I'm, I'm sure there's a system, you know, the gerrymandering system. I don't know how things were gerrymandered in, in this place. So, oh, I remember we stopped with Tara. She was um, terrible uh, legislation she did against children, you know, who just experienced gender in a different way. That's all. It's all groovy. And she, um, you know, she has some very hurtful, hateful legislation. So she needs to go. Don't elect her again. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What is Bill? We got old Bill here. So Bill, what's Bill's story? All right. Uh, let me put the mic down. Well, no, let's, let's see if I can do this at the same time. Uh, Bill been around not that long that's good we like new members we like folks who bring new perspective bill describes himself as a episcopalian white guy with a wife named katie and a couple kids well listen i love the episcopalians okay shout out to the episcopalians oh, <laughs> he didn't just go to an even to a very nice high school that's yeah okay look them up that's a fancy schmancy place compared to a lot of people I uh, got a degree in economics and a master in education. I kind of like that. Um, you know, that, again, I have a soft spot for economics. I like Episcopalians. They're like Catholic lights. They they are all the things that Catholics are, but, you know, they're, they're a lot nicer to women and gay people. <laughs> uh, one of my dear friends, one of my fraternity brother, of course, you know, there's always stories about my fraternity brothers. And I do that for a reason so that you understand what happens when you go to an elite college and your children get connected into these networks of very high performing people. I mean, uh, this friend actually is a great guy. He was, um, he's very similar to me. He used to be a kind of a, <laughs> a big Republican on campus. And, uh, then he kind of became an adult and had children. He was in the service. So again, you know, I shit on a, um, a cons don't like the idea of a, of a military that has conscription, but we don't do conscription anymore. So there's a lot of thoughts about that. I'm, I don't know. Hopefully I'll share them at some point, but maybe not today. My point is this guy, he's an Episcopalian and he's great. And his wife's Episcopalian. And I guess that I saw two of their sons get baptized into the Episcopalian church and then um, St. Mary's Alexandria. So very, very close up near here. Great people, uh, really great, great people churches if i weren't a catholic you know again and I, am i 100 percent perfect catholic absolutely not but you know i like the episcopalian tradition i was started by henry the eighth true story uh but so we don't know we don't know let's look at bill's legislation oh boy uh-oh allows any person who is otherwise eligible to obtain a concealed handgun permit to carry a concealed handgun without a permit may lawfully carry a handgun openly in the Commonwealth. Boo! Oh, goodness. Oh, Bill. Bill, you're walking around. Hey, Bill, how you doing today? He whips out his gun. Bam, you're dead. You're done. People love guns. They just love them. They're like, man, I can't wait to... Bam, bam, bam! If somebody is coming at... <laughs> Manifestation, right? You vibrate... Your vibration causes the life you live. 
income. Oh, okay. Well, you know, trying to help out veterans. Again, you know, I, I have a strong, strong empathy for enlisted veterans, right? Big difference between being an officer and being an enlisted fella. Okay. Truly, it's not the worst shit I've seen here, so not terrible. Who's next? All righty. We went to Bill. Now we're at Nick. Nick, 16. All right. Let's see. Again, we don't know anything about Nick, but Nick can pick what he wants to put in here. So what is Nick going to tell us, right? Uh, not that old. <laughs> Generally described as a Protestant. I <laughs> love that. <laughs> uh, NRA for life. Loves those guns. Loves those guns. Bam, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Pew, pew, pew. Love those guns. Um, American Legion, VFW. My my dad never he did the VFW, but never did the Legion. I used to hang out at a bar in Ocean City with a lot of Legion and VFW folks. Yeah, true story. You're like, what? How? How, how do they even like you? Oh, I used to be a very different person. But I love those folks. They were very nice. Um, you know, so again, I can't, I can't really relate to any of this. Um, the Heritage Foundation, my goodness. <laughs> dangerous okay that's a strong that's a strong red flag heritage foundation my goodness heritage foundation is white people talk for pull yourself up by your bootstraps you lazy colored person and woman or other marginalized person it's you know you should just go to college get a degree get a job that you know maybe your dad helps you get or something like that and get on with life that's basically the heritage foundation i used to love the heritage foundation uh we already know what we need to know about Nick, he's in the you know, Heritage Foundation. They don't like poor people. Um, they think poor people, you know, they don't treat them like human beings. Um, but that's okay. Let's see. That doesn't mean, you know, people are complicated. What's this about weed? Um, can't tell if this is good or bad. That's the problem with this legislation. Sometimes you have to really read it over. But a lot of a lot of these sort of celebrating the life of kind of stuff. And again, you people are so crazy out there. Like the law, look at the law; it's very important. This is what this person spent his time on and celebrating the life of these people. Not good, not bad, but you know that's what you think the law is all about. And I don't know, man. Seems kind of seems kind of silly to me. <laughs> You have no idea what the law is about. Most of the law, these silly proclamations and stuff, that's the bulk of their time. Uh, again, I, you know, I make fun. I should be making fun of myself if I were to open the student assembly binder that you see up here that I have. I sponsored one resolution. It was called Res it was Resolution Six. It was to say the Pledge of Allegiance. That was the only one where I was the primary sponsor. It was stupid. It was me being a dum dum. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, at least I'm sorry about it. I'm trying to do better. Uh, what did we say? We're going to do 20, 20 till 35, right? 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, 35. 35 is the last one we're doing. So we did Nick. Now we're to Elizabeth. All right, Liz. She goes by Liz. Liz hasn't been around all that long, so that's good. How does Liz describe themselves? She describes herself. Oh, she wasn't born in America. Well, I like that because, again, um, you know, that's diversity, right? That's 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 great. She's from, uh, from South America. She describes herself as Hispanic, Latino, so, you know, Catholic, Christian. Yeah, I like that. Very relatable to um, a working person. You know, a lot of my a lot of my housekeepers would describe themselves in this way. So I love that. Definitely somebody who might uh, might appreciate what this is all about. So that's fantastic. Um Social worker, even better. Anybody who proudly describes himself as a social worker is somebody you want in legislature. That's for sure. I wonder which Sacred Heart Church. There's one in Richmond. I know that they're a member of Virginia Interfaith Center, so I love that. Hopefully that's where Liz is, but this is good. I mean, just looking at this, this sounds like 
Um, oh, a cost advocate. That's great. Girl Scout. I love that. Love those cookies. What's your favorite Girl Scout cookie? I love I love those tag-alongs. They're just it. Peanut butter, baby. And if you don't like peanut butter, put a Thin Mint in the freezer. Uh, so I like that. Really good-looking stuff in terms of does she seem relatable to a working person? Workman's comp, employment, paid sick leave, expands paid sick leave for home workers. Good. Oh, look at this. Uh huh. Affordable housing. Request the Department of Housing in collaborative to study ways to increase affordable housing for public servants on publicly owned property. Fantastic. Um, in state tuition benefits for service members and veterans. Absolutely. 100%. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Get your kids into college. If you were, especially if you were an enlisted person in the service, get your kids into college. That way they will not have to do what you might have had to do. And they can live a life with a white collar job. You know, they're going to be some sort of director of social media and promotions for Globio Corp. They get a sweet work from home gig. They're making 75K. They don't work a day in their life other than to, you know, get on some meetings and do some Canva shit. It's great. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I love, I love, love that. Um, I love that. Liz, you are doing the people's work. David, been around since 18, not long. So we love that too. You know, we like we like fresh faces. That's important. No matter what party, with fresh faces is very important. Uh, 62. Well, he looks good for his his age. I'll give him that. Um, hold tight. All right. 20, he, 25 years older than me. He looks great. Gotta give David that. Um, white male Methodist. You know, JFK rolling around the White House. Fucking Marilyn Monroe while poor Jackie has to deal with it. Um, here we go. Okay, this is, this is what I was talking about earlier. Naval Reserves, Commander. 05. Um, an officer. Very different to be an officer than an enlisted person. Very different. Um, I, you know, as I mentioned, I went to school near a large military base. Lots of children of the officers because we're the only private high school in a tri-county area in Southern Maryland. So I've, a lot of officers. Officers are different. Um, you know, much more akin to a white collar job to be an officer. Much different than an enlisted person. All right, what kind of legislation? Teacher re-engagement, personnel shortage. I don't know. Can't tell if that's good or bad because sometimes these folks try to get around taking care of teachers, right? So I don't know. We'd have to we'd have to see, but I'm not sure. So we'd have to learn that's that. Uh, motion picture tax credit. We learned about that from Chris Fuentes. That takes jobs, that takes union jobs out of California. So it might seem good, but it, it can be really risky and bad. Um, teacher, right? Attaining and retaining public teachers. Well, I love that. I like that. Hopefully, that hopefully it's a good thing. Hopefully that's good. I like that. Okay, David. Trying to help out and get good public teachers. I am all for that. Another David. Two Davids. Look at that. 3233. David. This is David LaRock. Goes by Dave. Been there 10 years. That's starting to get to the point where maybe they've got a little too much power and clout. But I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, let's see. How does Dave describe himself? <laughs> From Oswego. A, a yeah. Upstate. Um, hmm. Again, yeah, I've, I've warned you. God, we, we have looked at a lot of people who were born when Eisenhower was in the White House, which is pretty funny because Eisenhower was a long time ago. 
uh, you know, another white male Christian with a wife and kids. Uh, very relatable to middle class and upper middle class folks, but working class, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's not Catholic? <laughs> uh, I you know, can't afford a family of seven if you're a working person, but I bet if you are the president of Laroc Builders, again, construction, oh boy, construction, worked hotels 15 years, construction people, they will charge you an arm and a leg. And I don't mind that. Um, it's my problem is, you know, I worked a lot of construction and reno and shit. And I always talk to the workers, right? And I'm like, hey, you know, does your owner pay you? Well, I'm like, eh, not really. So never have heard of an owner that takes care of their people. Um, very rare to hear. Very, very rare. So I get very nervous when I see somebody own construction kind of stuff. All right. Let's see. Uh, Dave, what are you kind of legislation you doing? You know, again, a lot of these celebrating the lives. Responsible fatherhood initiative. Every father. Well, I'm sure that sounds nice, but I bet you it's real racist. <laughs> but it sounds nice. Um. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yep. HB 2432 minor students experiencing gender incongruence parental notification. Much like we saw yesterday with Tara. Oh boy. Oh, Dave. Dave. Say it ain't so. Dave hates little children that don't, you know, that are just going through gender differently and he is bullying them. Bad. Bad. No, don't vote for Dave. Sorry, Dave. Dave's got to go. Ah, oh, darn. Darn. You know, we, we want to see, we always try to be optimistic here, <laughs> but not with Dave. Kathleen. Okay, killer scarf, Kathleen. Uh, McLean, yikes, that's money. My goodness. You know how I feel about people. I mean, it's just scary. These folks don't live in a world like us. Born in 1948. My dad was born in 1943. Uh, and very you know, unrelatable. Um, 48, my gosh. Harry Truman, I think. Truman's still president in 48. Eisenhower won in 52 and 56. So, yeah, Harry Truman. Um, my goodness. Graduated magna, though. We talked about that yesterday. Magna cum laude with very high praise. So, an American... And a consultant. Oh, scary. <laughs> if anybody ever tells you they're a consultant, run. Run, 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 run. Consultants are terrifying. My goodness. We should skip out on Kathleen now. Just the fact that she said she's a consultant. Consultants don't like working people um, at all. But let's see. We don't know. We don't know anything. We're just guessing. So, um, firearms law. Okay. That sounds like a good thing. That's good. Yeah, you know, don't. What is this? A surrogate may relinquish her parental rights to an attendant parent. Interesting. Um, I, I can't tell what this lady's for. Assault and battery. Oh, well, this, this expands protection against people, um, you know, who are going through life differently. So I love that. I, I do like uh, that Kathleen is standing up for people with, you know, I don't like using intellectual disability or mental illness. That's, again, capital of the Confederacy, right? That's how they write their laws. They talk about human beings like they're not people. So I don't like that. Uh, but that's yeah, that's a different story for another day. Um but Kathleen standing up for people that are differently abled and going through life different. So I like that. I like that. Kudos to Kathleen. Now, Holly, let's see what Holly's doing. Oh, very new. Uh, real new. Well, I love that. That alone is a good sign. Uh, no information yet about Holly. Probably no in legislation. Oh, actually, yes. Okay. Already getting to work. Maybe. 
Uh, interpreters for persons who are deaf or hard of hearing. Court may appoint a certified interpreter. I like that. Um, oh, a tax exemption for car seats. I love that. Again, you're like, the law is so important. And is that really that important? I mean, come on. Yes, but no. <laughs> it's just a good thing that, that she did. You know, that's a good thing. We love, we like that. Um, some, so, so some good stuff. For somebody very new, that seems like some good work. Okay. Well, that was your seven House of Delegates members. Better results there today. I don't know why. In numbers, you know, uh, but better for sure.